We've got somebody who's ready to lead us going forward. We need somebody who's new in office, but not new to heart. Who knows where we come from, so she can get us where we gotta go. And if you have not heard it yet today, let me introduce you all to the one clear choice for Harlem, for State Senate, Cordell Clare. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Pastor Sullivan. Um, you know, I'm finding it hard to find words, and I don't want to start crying. But when I look back at my journey, and the people who were there along the way, never even imagining this day would be here. I'm just thankful to God today that he allowed me to be a servant, that he allowed me to be a part of that story, the suffering that took place, knowing that one day it was gonna be over and there was gonna be a change. Um, it is so important that we remember those dark days for the exonerated, but the dark days of housing in our community, the dark days of heroin in our community, the dark days of crack in our community, the dark days of rampant uh, child removals from homes in our community, the dark days of crime and exoduses of all of our young people going upstate to prisons for one reason or another. Those dark days were here and we have not healed from the effects or the impacts of those things and they have not stopped entirely. And that's the work that's here to be done. We're happy, we fought, and I have so much respect for the exonerated. When I just, sometimes I do cry when I think about what they went through as children, as children. And I'm gonna say this, some of us were not even nice to them. Some of us said very unkind things. I remember working downtown and people, they blamed this whole community. It was a horrible thing that happened to that woman. No one should ever suffer that kind of uh, fate. But it was not them. And we were all blamed for it. We were the wilders and, and, and wilding until this day. I sometimes am in that park and I don't see us in there. Why? Because I think we've been programmed, because I surely did tell my family members, please don't go in that park. I remember the night they came looking for people, and they took a lot of people with them. These five suffered the price. The lynch mob came and got these five. And we had to fight like hell to get them back, and to get them free and to get them compensated as if you could do that monetarily. But even then, they fought back and they didn't want to do it. And today, not only did they break free, but they rose above it and have become the voice for others to stop the injustice. So it's nothing for me when I see them. Because if they could stand up, I could stand up. If their mothers could undergo and go withstand this, I could withstand it. And today I stand here for every mother that is not here. Raymond and your grandmother, and Antron's mother, and Mrs. Richardson, and your mother who's here today. These are great, great giants. And they are the people that I stand on the shoulders of. You understand? I'm not here just like this. I have to know this. I saw them fighting. So that taught me how to fight. And how to take it. Could you imagine? Somebody doing all the things, saying all the things they were saying to your child. And you're still able to stand up and fight. That's not easy. And these women did it. And that helped me. And there were other women. And I'm going to Ruby Kitchen and Ennis Francis. And there were women that I, had, I was able to watch. Alice Cornegay, people who are Numsa not. Namsa Brad, Ilambe Brad. Let me talk about some of the men too. Thank you. These were my mentors. These are the people that I had a chance. I had the benefit of being around. And all of you taught me. Because one thing about Harlem, y'all keep it real. <laughs> not 
Y'all no, ain't trying. Y'all keep it real. And I mean, you know, I've been encouraged by you. I've been told off by you. <laughs> um, but it's all good, because it was lessons. And it led me to where I am today. And I know what I have to do. I want you to keep encouraging me. And keep telling me what I need to be told. Keep advising me. Because that's what I need. That's what keeps me grounded. That's what makes me remember what this is all about. It's not about a position. This is wonderful to be the state senator. I understand that I'm, I would be the first woman in over 75 years to hold this position. And those are wonderful things. But the greatest of all of these is that I'm going to be a servant of the people. I am a public servant and I'm here to serve you. Not myself, not what I think is best, but what we collaboratively think is best. The stakeholders, the people who actually are going through things, you're the ones that I have to answer to. So I look forward to this. I'm privileged, it's an honor. Uh, I recognize today my mentor, Bill Perkins, who I did work for for 19 years. I remember when I first got the call, I remember that, Sharon, running for everything but the dog catcher. And, 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 and you know, when you, when, you, when you are busy and active in a community, you see the same people. They're at the same meetings, everybody's the same place. I always see him, and he's running for this, and he's running for that. And then he'd see me and, okay. And one day he called me and he said, okay, you know, I won. And I was like, okay, good for you. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> you know, we're all happy. And uh, he said, well, what are you doing? I said, I'm doing what I'm doing. What are you doing? <laughs> and actually he offered me a position. And at first request, I said, I don't work for politicians. <laughs> I would never work for a politician. No, thank you. Uh, but they got me to interview. Some other people gave me a call. They got me to interview, and they said, well, why don't you just try it part-time? You know that's a trick, right, Keith Lilly? Because there's no such thing as part-time <laughs> working for this. No. But I got hooked immediately because it gave me the opportunity to touch so many lives and be a part of so many changes and different uh, initiatives that were so critical to this community. I don't regret one single day.